apart from the turbine, this probably this boat, which is an unlimited boat, is probably the biggest and most powerful boat here. Uh, we've got Chad Burns all the way from uh, the Peace River, and uh, what makes you bring this size of boat all the way to New Zealand, Chad? Well, we purchased a turbine off Ryan Ringer there last year, so we had this boat in order to race it, so we figured we'd send it over here. You think this sort of boat's really a lot more suitable? Say, why wouldn't you bring your turbine to race these rivers? This is a lot more suitable for these braided rivers. You can dive it in the corner and, you know, you get, can't, don't have to baby it around the corners like a turbine. And I saw you were doing some testing the other day and you got some pretty fast speeds. What sort of speed were you getting out of it? Well, I seen 123, just short little bursts, so maybe we can wind it up from there. So 123 mile an hour, perhaps up the dart, how would that go? Not that good. <laughs> I got to stretch my legs here and then we'll manage the braided stuff as it comes. Yeah, and I think it's good that we've got a criterium, say the first race to settle you down and then a couple of good legs, which really does suit your type of driving style, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, so then once we get to the braided stuff, I'll just hopefully tap her cool. You're a pretty aggressive driver I know in Canada and America and you're one of the most aggressive drivers and uh, it's always good to see all you guys that have come over here really to battle these rivers because they're not easy rivers and uh, I think you bought the right boat probably for the combination of the rivers. Yeah, I hope so, as long as it holds together. So you rate yourself one, who's going to be second? Mark Cromey. <laughs> He's not racing. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Garth McMaster is going to be tough to beat once we get to the Braves stuff. Roger Preston and John, of course, if he can uh, manage his way through there. Yeah, and the thing that will help John probably is what, the rivers have come up a bit, haven't they, with that flooding, which will really help the turbine and make it a bit easier for him. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I don't know if he's happy with how it's set up right now, but I guess we'll see at the end of the marathon.